Right guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Now, in this week's video, I will be going through with you the three items that you will need for the more basic and beginner setup to play online darts. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's totally free, and I will be announcing the 501 giveaway at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Now, first up, you should have your board set up ready for online playing. That goes without saying. Once you've got your board set up, one thing a lot of people have but a lot don't when you're playing online darts is a nice light. Makes it nice and clear on the screen for your opponent to see. The light I'm using is the 190 Illumia. Both this ages ago, I like the sort of retro look of it. It's sort of it's retro but it's also modern. It's nice and sleek, clean. That's why I went and bought that instead of an actual ring light. Then when I started playing in the pubs and clubs locally, they've all got ring lights, so I'm sort of mixed up between the two, but I really, really like this Illumia light. Secondly, for a nice basic clean setup while you're playing online darts, all you need is your phone. It's as simple as that. That's all I've been using with my mobile phone when I'm playing online darts. And yeah, it's got a nice clear picture, you can score on it nice and easily. Now you have got some super class, amazing setups. Like if you just go over to uh, the darts referee streams on Wednesday night, that setup is something to behold. And I'm sure Jack has a video on that. And if he does, it should pop up in one of these corners. Make sure you check it out at the end of this video. I'll leave a link to it down below. Now, the thing is, you can't just let your phone dangle in the air and it's not really good if you've got a friend holding your camera while you're playing because they're going to be looking around and also you get you sometimes playing online you get these weird angles where the phone is down here looking up at the board or it's right up close so it's a million miles away so the one thing that i suggest you get for a nice basic simple setup is a nice little tripod easy to stow away it's nice and small but also this one will go up to, oh, not too sure, around 5.5 feet. So yeah, about, about five and a half foot. So it's not too bad. You can get taller ones. And if you've got the money and you're able to, I definitely suggest getting one. Now, the problem with the tripod is how do you attach your phone to this piece up here? Well, remember many, many years ago, selfie sticks were a very big thing. My parents went to London and they bought a selfie stick. And the selfie stick has an adjustable camera holder. But you've also got this little bolt in here that you can chuck on top of your tripod like that. Tighten it up. Yeah, and then you can tilt it have your phone on there so everyone can see what's going on nice and simple one of the main things you need to do if you're using your phone while you're playing online darts is have your charging cable I always 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 have my phone on charge if I'm playing an online match so where my lead comes down for my light I've got a multi-socket, I've got one of those at the bottom, so I can prop my phone up, I can charge my phone, but my phone is always on 100% if I'm playing a game of darts online. So, the main three things that you need for your beginner online darts setup is a nice clean light, a tripod, and a phone holder. I'm sure everyone has got a mobile phone at this point. If you don't, then you need four things. Now, if you want to get yourself any of these things like a tripod, a phone holder, a folder tripod, or a light, I will list the things that I am using down in the description below. Click on the link, it should take you to Amazon, and that's what I'm using there. Take a look for yourselves. If you want to get some, you can get some, but if you don't, you can still have a wax setup. Now, that is my most basic, simple setup that you can use for online darts. And like I said, the tripod can stow away. You can pull that out of the way. If your missus isn't gonna be happy or if your boyfriend isn't gonna be happy, 
you can just stow that out of the way. The 501 giveaway. I have a few little things that I want to give away to you guys when we get to 501 subscribers. I mentioned in the video that everyone needs a light. So, you can win yourself portable, foldable light. So if it's an issue where you've got doors opening and closing, you can fold this away, you can take it off, and it's job done. It's nice and simple, and it's a very, very clean design. Just like that. Simple. That is prize number one in the box. Prize number two in the box. Now I've got a fixed hockey on the ground. I've just literally drilled a piece of wood into the ground. Again, my partner isn't very happy, but that's how things go. <laughs> I've also added to the prize pot a laser hockey. All you've got to do is bolt it up on the wall, measure your mark, set the laser, job done. Simple as that. You turn it on every time you want to play and this is powered by two AA batteries. So if you get rechargeable batteries, you'll never spend a penny again. There we go. Look at that. That's tiny. Tiny little thing. That's actually really cool. I wish I was using that myself, but it's for you guys. As the weeks go on, I may be adding one or two other things to the prize pot. But at the moment, when we get to 501 subscribers, you can win these two things here. And you can get yourself a nice little online setup, nice and clear, ready to play, and a nice hockey. Now, guys, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Drop a comment down below what else you'd like to see on the channel and make sure you subscribe for more content in the future. Peace out, stay safe, keep it sharp.